world updates from the oval while the world is battling the deadly pandemic coronavirus democratic republic of congo announced the end of the ebola epidemic chinese huawei will set up an ict lab for fiber optics in britain amid the ongoing economic crisis caused by none other than coronavirus pandemic a lot changes in a day and so we must know it hello friends you have tuned into the world as we know it presented by the oval a daily news capsule of updates from around the world so let's get started with all what happened on june 25 let's get started with the updates from the largest continent that is asia bolstering the boycott china move delhi hotel association announced that it will bar chinese guests sandeep khandelwal president of the delhi hotel and restaurant owners association said the decision covering 75000 hotel rooms in the indian capital was to support our government in this war like situation with china china's controversial ict firm huawei will build a research and development facility in england amounting 1.2 billion dollar the facility will be dedicated to the production of optical equipment used in fiber optics communication systems and it will employ 400 people the recent plane crash in karachi pakistan brought to light the matter of pilots having fake licenses pia spokesman abdullah hafiz khan told afp that a government probe last year found that about 150 of its 434 pilots were carrying either bogus or suspicious licenses and to cater to that pakistan international airlines grounded about a third of its pilots Japan drops its plan of deploying a multi-billion dollar US anti-missile system. Interceptors for the Aegis Ashore system were to be placed in two regions under the costly and controversial program. Pakistan PM Imran Khan, while addressing the country's National Assembly, called former Al-Qaeda boss man Osama bin Laden a martyr. Yes, he said that Americans came to Abbottabad and killed Osama bin Laden martyred him. Sources for the Asian continent updates were Straight Times, Channel News Asia, CBS News and the Reuters. Well friends, let me tell you if you want to catch more news, you can just go to our Instagram account at Oval the Global and can have more information about the world in a more productive social media manner. Just go to at the rate Oval the Global. So let's move on to our next continent Europe. Students from European Union countries wishing to study in the UK will have to pay more now from the 2021 session. The Minister of State for Universities of United Kingdom, Michel Donlan, proclaimed in a statement, Irish nationals living in the UK and students from the Ireland are exempted by this rule because of the common travel area arrangement as she stated. Thousands of people gathered at Barnmouth Beach on the south coast of England which was declared major incident as the temperature rose to 33 degrees Celsius in the United Kingdom. Police kept on pleading to people to stay away with services stretched to the, to the absolute hilt. Council leaders Wiki Slate said, "We are absolutely appalled at the scenes witnessed." a bulgarian mep that is member of european parliament asked for an investigation of a man sounding like prime minister boyko borisov in a 7 minute audio recording threatening to burn her borisov has questioned the authenticity of the audio which was purportedly recorded in april this year finance ministers of ireland luxembourg and spain have filed their nominations for election of eurogroup president Luxembourg Finance Minister Pierre Grenma, Irish Finance Minister Pascal Donho and Spain's Nadia Calvino are at the starting line of the race to lead the Eurogroup. Eurogroup presidents have a responsibility of European solidarity and national responsibility. In a bid to secure oil facilities from the reach of drones, Russian state-controlled cybersecurity company Concern Automatica JSC is selling systems capable of disabling drones. This comes after the oil facilities in Saudi Arabia fell prey 
two attacks last year. Sky News, Politico.eu, The Guardian and Oil Price were the sources for European continent. If you are still tuned in and liking our show and the whole information compilation from around the world, please like and follow our account and channel, The Oval. We keep posting informative and interesting stuffs on our Instagram page, Oval the Global. So moving ahead to the next vivacious continent, Americas. Water and sanitation companies in Brazil could possibly be privatized as Senate of Brazil has passed a bill in favor of the bill proposing privatization. It claims to bring better services to the 35 million Brazilians who lack clean drinking water and 100 million whose savage gets dumped raw without ever being treated. South American nation Ecuador has ratified an economic agreement with European nations Norway, Switzerland, Iceland and Liechtenstein. Lenin Moreno, president of Ecuador, signed this bill. The decree claims to allow more than 130 Ecuadorian products, 54% of which are foodstuffs, to enter Europe free of tariffs. Prime Minister of Canada Justin Trudeau has discarded a call to exchange Huawei Chief Financial Officer Meng Wanzhou with its two citizens held by Chinese authorities. Trudeau said releasing Huawei's Meng Wanzhou would tell China that it can get what it wants by arresting Canadians. He said it would put more Canadian citizens at risk by signaling Canada can be intimidated. US President Donald Trump Yes, he's back in the news. Well, when he was lost, he's always in the news. Remember what he said in the Tulsa rally that he ordered a slowdown of coronavirus testing because he didn't want more COVID-19 cases to be identified? Well, it wasn't merely rhetorical. Trump administration is going to cut federal funds for corona testing. Yes, officials in the nations have chastised the decision as it could cause further spread of a disease that is already surging back and calling the move irresponsible. White House confirmed yesterday it will no longer fund 13 testing sites, including seven in Texas, despite that state reporting record highs in the number of coronavirus cases. Some of the 9,500 US troops will be planned to pull out of Germany to Poland, US President Donald Trump said recently in a Rose Garden news conference with visiting Polish President Andrzej Duda. Trump intends to withdraw one-third of current deployments in Germany. He said, some will be going home, some will be going to other places in Europe. Poland will be one of those. As it is known that Polish president is on a visit to the US before Poland's national elections. Sources for the updates of American continent were Prensa Latina, Washington Post, The Guardian and Associated Press. Now moving on to more updates from African continent. While the world is reeling under the effects of the deadly coronavirus, Congolese Health Minister Ethne Longondo officially announced the end of the Ebola epidemic in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, the second most serious disease since the discovery of the virus in 1976. Declared on 1st of August 2018, this 10th epidemic of hemorrhagic fever on Congolese soil took away 2,277 lives. Ghana's capital Accra late on Wednesday evening experienced moderate tremors measuring 4.0. The Ghana Geological Survey Authority has already warned that the series of tremor occurrences over the years is a sign of a looming earthquake of greater magnitude in the future. Accra experienced similar earthquake in 2018, one in April and another in December. Mozambican security forces in the northern Cabo Delgado province found a mass grave with the bodies of Islamist militants. Presumably the bodies belonged to the insurgents killed by government forces in March. All Africa and Africa news were the sources for African continent updates. Jumping on to the updates from the last continent on the list today, 
Middle East. Every four out of 10,000 deaths in Middle Eastern country Lebanon are due to pollution. A Greenpeace report stated, as per the study titled Toxic Air, the Price of Fossil Fuels, the estimated number of deaths in Lebanon attributed to fossil fuel was 2,700 in 2018, a rate of 4 deaths per 10,000 people. Egypt has a rate of 3 deaths per 10,000 people. UAE and Israel joined forces to work against the novel coronavirus. Israeli PM Benjamin Netanyahu informed that cooperation will be in research and technology development in areas that will improve the health security of the entire region. The Republic of Kosovo officially declared both Hezbollah's military and political wings as a terrorist group. The country had a year ago designated Hezbollah's military wing as a terrorist group. Israel, the United States, the United Kingdom, Germany, France, the Arab League and the European Union have already designated Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. Sudan will receive a monetary aid of $1.5 billion by Western and Arab countries to help fight an economic crisis hampering its transition towards democracy. Country's inflation topped an annual 100% last month and its currency plummeted to 141 to 1 US dollar. A 5.4 magnitude earthquake hit the town of Ozalp in the southeast province of Van in Turkey. Intensity of the earthquake was moderately strong, causing damage to some homes. Turkey faced its disastrous earthquake in 1999, which caused more than 18,000 deaths. Sources for the updates from the Middle East were Middle East Monitor, Jerusalem Post, Al Jazeera and Associated Press. So these were all the major updates from several news reports of June 25. And if you liked our content, please like, follow and share it with all the people you know. Because information is a treasure in today's time. So better to spread it. Check out and follow our Instagram account at the handle at Oval the Global. Also, if you have any suggestions, be our guest. We heed over the comments. Thanks a lot for listening to us.